Um, you know, 1,652 people elected me, and I appreciate all of them, but I serve all of the people in my district and all of the ones in this city. Um, you know, I ran for this seat because I believe citizens need a voice, um, need someone who's willing to listen to them, make decisions, and uh, be their voice in City Hall. Um, I've done a lot of different things in my life. I, I'm a husband, father, veteran, um, a disaster relief volunteer, former federal law enforcement officer, um, a congressional staff member. I've been a lobbyist, so I know what it's like to go to the, walk the halls of Tallahassee. I've seen the best and worst in people. I've stood on empty slabs in Mexico Beach after Hurricane Michael. I've hunkered down in a cement bunker as scuds flew into Kuwait when I was deployed. I've also managed Miss America's visit to Kuwait. So I've done a lot of different things you probably didn't know I've done. Uh, I'm honored to serve the cities of this, the citizens of this city, all of them. Uh, and when someone tells me they voted for me, I really, it, I take it very seriously. Even if they didn't, I still work very hard for them. You know, and over the past 10 years, I feel like the city has made a series of decisions that have limited public amenities, critical of some of the most vulnerable citizens we have in our community. Uh, when combined with the city's decision to privatize much of our athletic activities over the past 10 years, uh, this, I think the impact on citizens has been extreme. During my first term on council, we opened two new neighborhood centers, and only one of those has available public gym space. The other was given to Southern Youth Sports Association. The city has no control over that whatsoever. More recently, a city demolished Bayview Center and replaced it with an event center, uh, and it did have gym space. It was not a great center. It's definitely dilapidated, but we replaced it with something that was uh, an apple to the orange. It was not the same thing. The city also entered into an agreement, and this, this was all before uh, Mayor Reeves' time, uh, which provided the YMCA nearly exclusive use of our, our Vickery Center, which also limited the avail availability of that center for public use. Uh, when I ran the Reviving ba Baseball and Inner Cities program, uh, when I wasn't on council, the city didn't even, didn't even have fields to play baseball in, in the, within the city limits. We had to go to Raymond Riddle Park and have baseball practice there. And we had a great program there, but everyone had to drive their kids out to W Street outside city limits. And that's not the case in other parts of our city, such as Bill Bond, which is at, uh, uh, around the Vickery Center. And, um, you know, so we, we have some disparities, I think. Sports and other programs are, cr are critical for our youth. Uh, they give the opportunities to be engaged in something other than being on the streets. They also give them opportunities to have good role models, I think. Um, I know the biggest thing about being in charge of reviving baseball in our cities is bringing the police and fire and having them develop a, a positive relationship with these kids who often don't see that from, from law enforcement and from public safety. Um, and I imagine some of the centers and some of the programs we have have even saved lives. Um, while housing is very important, we must also provide amenities for people, uh, especially for those who need them the most. I'm hopeful this council will work with our mayor to ensure these services and amenities are available. You know, since returning to council, I've been impressed with the council's ability to work together. It's only been 14 months, but I feel like we're all friends up here. Even if we do disagree, I feel like at the end of the meeting, uh, we still get along. And I look forward to the challenges ahead that we face and working with this council to ensure our most vulnerable citizens have opportunities to succeed and prosper. Thank you.